Hi, Lisa here, and today we're going to talk about the Gales Waltz template set. The Gales Waltz set is three pieces, and it was designed by our good friend Gail Burke. And this is what the block looks like. It's just the three pieces put together. When you open up the packaging, you'll see that you've got one, a, one template that's named with the one, and then we got the two, and then we got the three. What's really cool about this is that the two can go on either side. The same thing for the three. If you was to put your piece over here on this side, then you got the three over here. So it can go in either direction. With just these three pieces, there are so many designs that you can make with this. If you look at the actual packaging, you'll see a design here on the front, but if you flip it over, there are so many more examples on here, and I've actually got a more that I, you know, those panels I've brought with me today. If you go to the website and click onto the Martelli website and look at pho photos on our Facebook page, you'll actually see more of these examples in a better image for you. But again, this is one of those projects where you could cut tons of scraps with it and make it really scrappy, or you could very, be very precise in the design that you want. So this is one where having our design board where you could move the pieces around or having a design wall where you can move the pieces around and get whatever design that you're looking to come up with. What you're just going to need is just fabric and it could be, you know, the same three fabrics or it can be just a plethora of different fabrics. So it's, you know, it's up to you on how you want to do it. The block actually finishes at five and a half inches. So, or no, excuse me, it's five and a half inches unfinished, but when it's all sewed together, it is a five inch block. So that's something that's very important for you to remember. Now I'm gonna show you a few of these examples. Now these are a little bit bigger than the typical five and a half inch unfinished block. This was the prototype that I had worked with. So this one's like a seven inches. But what I want you to see is that of the four different examples that I have here, each one is done the exact same color. So I've got the main piece, which we call the house, the house piece. This one here we call the kite. This one here is the triangle. So I've done the house piece all the same, the kite and the triangle. So it's just a matter of the way you lay it out. It gives you a totally different look. So here's one layout showing the three pieces. This one here, now same thing, here's the house done in the floral, the kite done with the black, and then the triangle. And again, just laying it out differently totally gives you a different look. Here's another one showing you the house, the triangle, the kite just gives a totally different look. This one's one of those ones that doesn't matter which direction you put it in, it's gonna give you that look. It has this really cool pinwheel effect to it. And then the last one here, this kind of reminds me of a little bit of a trellis maybe. So here is the same three pieces, the house, the kite, and the triangle and it just gives you a totally different look. And I'm gonna turn it so you can see it in another way. So that's what's so cool about the Gales Waltz. There's just so many different ways that you can do that. Now let's look at some of the panels that I got hanging behind me. So here's three examples of customers that we had that made these for us. I like this one because it shows taking it the same house, the kite, the triangle, and then form it away and adding other fabrics to make this star look. Here's another, here's another block. And just intermixing it with five and a half inch squares to give another look. And then here's one where that spinning pinwheel, but then adding other elements to add more interest. Again, this is one of those blocks that you could do so much with it. So I just got some fabric laid here and I'm just gonna use you know, this is like a focal print. So this would be my focal and I'm just kind of going to take my house piece and I'm just going to cut one out. So 
So I'm just laying it on here. And again, it's one, one of those great products that has that get a grip behind it. So you could just stack up lots of fabrics underneath here and cut these out. So I just got it lined up on the fabric here. And all you're gonna need for this is just fabric and a rotary, rotary cutter. And then your iron to iron it open, press your seams back. So here's the one. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut out the kite. And I'm gonna do the kite out of this blue here. And I'm gonna just um, follow this angle here. So you can do this in any way that you want. Again, this is one of those uh, projects that would be a really good scrap buster. I got two of this one. And the last one is our triangle. The triangle does have these little pieces right here. So those are the dog tails. Or dog ears. Different people call them different things. But it's number three. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut this out. I'm gonna catch those little dog ears and get those cut out. So what is really cool about this is that the kite can go on either side. It can go on this side, it can go on this side. And what I do is I line up this right here and just sew off the end. So when I go to line it up, I've lined it up at this point on this end and I'm sewing it all the way down and your needle's gonna come off about right here. And then when this one's back, then you're gonna be able to sew this one on. And you're gonna line up this edge here against the edge. So we'll go to the sewing machine and we'll get this all sewed up. So I got my three pieces here. So this one be number one, the house. Number two is the kite. So you're always going to put the kite on first before you put on the triangle, the third piece. So I've got my, I could go again either way. So I'm just going to go ahead and have it this way. And I'm going to take my kite and I'm going to put it right sides together. And I'm lining up this point of the kite, this piece right here, right here at this corner here. At the very peak of the house. And I recommend you sew at a scant quarter inch. This needs to finish or unfinished should be about five and a half inches. If you have a wider seam allowance and it finishes at less than five and a half inches, you would want to be sure to trim them up all to be the same. So if it's not that it finished, if it needs to be five and five, uh, trimming it to five, then trim it to five inches. Just know that you know, your blocks are gonna be five inches and then it'll finish at four and a half. The block would be if you're adding other pieces to it, other, other blocks. So I've just got this set up at a scant quarter and I'm just gonna start at the peak of the house and sew all the way down. And what I'm looking to do is I'm wanting to come out right here at this point. It's very important to get as close to that point as you can. Just going to take your piece and you're just going to press it back. And you're going to be very careful about that. You don't want to overstretch it or pull on your bias. So I just give it a good finger press. And then I take my second piece and I just, you could go ahead and iron it, but I'm just pressing it back with a finger press and then I'm just going to line up the edge here on this edge. And now I'm going to start at the bottom of the peak and coming up on the other side. You want to start right there where that where it starts at, um, with that little point. come off at the point on the other side. And then you're just 
going to finger press it back. And it just, if you come out at the point, it should be laying pretty straight right here. And if you start at that point, it should be pretty straight in here. You might have a little bit you need to trim off. And then the only thing left is just to press this back. And then this is just one of those projects. If you're going to make a lot of these, you'll just repetition. So all of the kites to the house and then so all of your uh, triangles. So this could be a great project for uh, chain piecing. All right, so we're going to go over to back to the main table. We'll get these ironed out. Okay, so here are the two blocks that I made. This is the one I had made earlier, and this is the one that I had just finished. I had a little dog ear that I just trimmed off right here. And just to show you, just with these two, you know, it's a matter of the way you turn them. You can get a different look with whichever direction that you go. Here's like the start of that pinwheel. You can just do so many different looks for it. So just have fun with it. It's just one of those great projects that's good for chain piecing, for scrap busting. Again, it is the Gales Waltz template set. It comes in three pieces, they're numbered. Be sure to go to martellinotions.com to pick up your set. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at quiltingwithlisa at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.